from Palmyra Road in Albany. Inside Edition, weeknights at 7 on WALB. And welcome back. Uh, daily Devotion for diehard fans. Of course, this would be my book, but yes, uh, yes, it we have <laughs> all the schools represented, even NASCAR fans. The author of these books, Ed McMinn, who is a uh, journalist yes. and got into the ministry, but also uh, a professor at Valdosta State, but this is something that you do now, and uh, you've got a lot of SEC fans, a lot of football fans, very devout football fans, and you've kind of mixed the, the daily devotion with with the tenacity of uh, SEC football and also some ACC football. Tell us what brought this about. Well, I, I've always said, Chris, it was divine inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, but we need to understand, of course, that we have a gator and a bulldog sitting here <laughs> conversing, which leads us to believe there's hope for the Palestinians and the Israelis. <laughs> right. yeah. um, but I, I'd always been a journalist, as I said, and I went to the ministry late. And I've, while, I've always in, while I've always enjoyed daily devotions, I found that many of them, quite honestly, were boring. And Jesus was many things, but he was never boring. Mm -hmm. And um, along the way, I, somewhere, I, that's why I say divine inspiration, I got the idea of melding the passion that we have in this part of the country for college sports, primarily football, and the passion that we also feel for our faith, and putting the two together in a devotion, a daily devotion book, that would grab your interest and hold it in time enough for you to get to the serious part that discusses your faith. Right. And, of course, you've, you've written them for all the ones we've seen here, plus uh, Georgia Tech's coming up. We have eight Georgia titles. Georgia Tech is right. coming from the printer on the eight. So we have the Auburn, the Georgia, the NASCAR. And uh, you'll be doing a book signing. When, when is that book signing? At the, the Place on the Point. And the honey, Place on the Point is coming on Wednesday. Um, March the 18th. March it's going to be from 11 to 1. He's got lots of books to sign. We've oh, okay. a lot, well, lot of right. people coming Good. in and All getting right. books. And so we've got lots left. So we invite everybody to go ahead and call us. 883-8585. Pre-order your book. Tell us how you want it signed. And then that way, if you can't come down that day, sure. Ed will get it signed. But we'd love for you to come in that day and meet him and just learn about his story. and. What's the time on that again? March it's going to be from 11 to 1 11 to at 1. the store, 2416 Westgate Drive here in Albany. And it's going to be a great afternoon. We're so excited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, okay. I looked at the Gator book. I'm sure you did. You, you <laughs> were mentioning how it was being like being in the belly of the beast doing research for this. But uh, a lot of history, I mean, there's history in these all of these devotions. You have a little bit of history. In there, there is history. I, it, it's not a history book. So. Right. Uh, you, you know, if you're looking for a history book, this is no. it, and you'd be surprised at sometimes what people are in there and what people are not. But I, what I, I do go back to the very beginning uh, with the research, cover all periods of, of sports in the school, uh, but I look for stories and events that I can tie into Scripture because that's the point of the devotion. Uh, the real point is to make a, a to have you thinking a little bit about your faith and what it means to you. Mm -hmm. So there are some stories, you know, that's what I look for when I do research, is stories that I can tie into scripture. Some of some good stories I simply can't. So. Okay. So the books, Place on the Point. Place on the Point. March 18th, Wednesday, that's a week from this Wednesday, exactly. right? Exactly. And that's exactly. from 11 to 1. You'll be there signing books right. and telling stories. I yep. guess so. <laughs> there are a lot of stories in these books. And they're yeah. all they're all good read and uh, again, you know, a lot of us football fans have slanted views, um, but um, well, of course. the message of God is probably right. where it all stays the same, right? It, it all stays the same. Right. Yes. Great for men and women. Come in. Great Easter basket stuffer. We've got our Easter bunny, bunny brunch going on. So okay. come on in and get your books signed. Go in your Easter basket and go team. Go God. All right. <laughs> go God. <laughs> go God. Go dogs. All right. <laughs> Th thanks, Ed. Thanks, right. honey. Thank you. We'll throw it back to uh, Ruthie. Well, Ruthie. Gator fan, Chris. Well, on this date, 1964, the Ford Motor Company rolled out a stunning new vehicle, the Mustang. The 65 version is at the Smithsonian Museum. Punching. He bit her on her left ear, her fingers, and put her in a headlock. Rihanna almost lost consciousness. What set off the tirade? Well, according to the report, a three-page text message that Brown received from a woman